So our design was experimenting with how to make snow, and I didn't like the way that mine turned out when I practiced, so I tried a new technique, and I have Lemmy here with me, my son, and he did the background and the trees with me. And so I'm going to show you how to do the snow with the new technique on his, and then he's going to show you as well. So instead of the technique that I practice, I actually have some watered down temper paint, and we're going to use a toothbrush. And this is going to be messy, so we have to be careful. We have to make sure that we have our um, painting on a placemat. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this toothbrush. I'm actually going to put this cup under here to show you. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold the toothbrush with one hand, and then our other fingers are going to flick that paint onto our paper to give us some snow. So I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to hold and flick. So I'm going to pause it so that Lemmy can try as well. So remember, you hold the toothbrush with one hand, and then you flick with the other. And when you flick, you want to make sure that it's aimed towards your paper. And I would say um, try not to get too much snow. You want it to just look like those tiny little snowflakes. Good. And then once you're done with your snowflakes, this is going to go on the drying rack to dry. Okay, artists, our next step is to draw a polar bear. And the polar bear is going to be drawn on a piece of white paper. And we're going to be cutting this polar bear out and putting it on our landscape. Now, if you want to do more than one polar bear, that's fine. Just keep in mind that these are going to get cut out and glued onto our Northern Lights background. So I've given you a how to draw a polar bear in eight easy steps handout. And it basically walks you through and says start by drawing the head. Now remember that these are going to get cut out, so you don't want a really tiny polar bear. So I'm going to start here. So step two, next draw the snout and the ears. Step three, draw the eyes, nose, and other details. Step four, draw the neck. Step five, draw the back of the body. Step six, after drawing the back, add the front limb. You can erase as many times as you need to. Step seven, next draw the leg. Step eight, add the rest of the limbs. So we've got to come around and we've got to do that back leg. And we've got to do a front leg. your polar bear is finished. Okay, so if you're not satisfied with it, you can go back in. I know that the polar bear's nose is usually gonna be a dark color. If you want to fix the ears, you can fix the ears. Um, if you want to add some dark areas inside of the ears, you can. Um, sometimes our polar bears can have shading on them. So if you wanna add some shading so that you can see that one of the legs is in front of the back. You can do that. When you're satisfied with your polar bear, you're going to cut it out. I'm going to use Lemmy's background, since it's all dry and ready, um, to show you the final step. Now remember I said that you can do more than one polar bear if you wanted to. Um, you could create a polar bear family if you'd like. But your polar bear is going to be in the foreground. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about where would you want to put your polar bear. Your polar bear needs to have its feet below the horizon line though. If we put our polar bear above the horizon line, then that would mean that we would have our polar bear kind of floating. We don't want our polar bear floating. So his feet need to go somewhere below the horizon line. So he can go off to the side, he could go in front of some trees. I would try to avoid putting your polar bear right in the middle because sometimes when things are right in the middle, it doesn't give them as strong of a composition. 
If you decided to do more than one polar bear, you could place them around as you wish. Kind of like the way that my polar bear looks over here where there weren't many trees. So you're gonna add some glue to the back of your polar bear. You can use um, glue stick or you can use liquid glue. Just make sure that you get it nice and secure onto your background. And when you're finished, you will have created a landscape with foreground, middle ground, and background. So in the foreground, I have my polar bear. In the middle ground, I have the silhouettes of the trees and the horizon line. And in the background, I have the aurora borealis or northern light sky.